Y'all will bear with me. I recently had a revelation. Call it the voice of God. Call it dumb luck. But I come to realize that I know the man committing these acts of great violence throughout New Bordeaux. Actually, what I should say is I knew him more as a teenager than as the man he is now. But regardless, I know the pain in his heart, the loss he suffered. I'm also aware of the perpetrators of that loss. And I'm here tonight, New Bordeaux, to tell you that this man's pain is your pain. His loss is your loss. He's not some crazed maniac with only murder and mayhem in his heart. He's a son, a brother, a soldier, a friend. He served his country proudly, and he wasn't drafted neither, volunteered. When folks started running away from that fight in the jungle, this man ran toward it. Oh, now, it's, it's easy to judge him based on these acts of violence that's alone. We, we've discussed this in the past. But what's happening is not as clean-cut as you might think. And we, the rest of New Bordeaux, are not as innocent in this whole mess as we like to believe we are. This man is fighting a war here and I get a resupply. He's yeah, doing directly. the thing the rest of us are too chicken shit to do. He stood back, saw this city of destruction for what it is, and now rains down his own brand of fire and brimstone. Everything While we turn into pillars of salt and watch him do. Always safer with me, shit. He's trying Let me see what you got. I'll be... This is done. You know how to fight me. Better not lose this. Guess our business is done here. He's down and leaving nothing behind. He cannot close his eyes, and we're all the better for it. Look out! So on this night, I'm hoping, praying, that this man is listening to my voice. Son, you do what you gotta do. Do what we can't do for ourselves. There's gonna be those judging you, saying your violence is what's wrong with the world, that you part of the problem no different than the monsters you ended. But I believe in the cleansing power of violence. I believe that the blood you spill and shed will lead us forward. Like the farmer wielding his scythe on the barley, you are clearing the field so the next crop can grow better, stronger. This is the hollow speaking, son. But now the holler listens to you. Fuck 
You... you must be Vanegar. <laughs> My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Nigger? Lincoln Clay? These things mean the same thing. <laughs> Go. You got it. We'll be around yeah, shortly. Yeah. I just want to get this shit over with. Tired of waiting around. You just another notch on my belt, bitch. It's go time, bro. Oh, Our ass is kicked.
Need to reload! I won't be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. What are you waiting for? Fucking do it. Finish this, you fucking coward. 
You're just gonna fucking stand there? God forgive me. Bring it! Figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off, off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and... Anybody else that had anything to do with this? What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. I don't know. Forty years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. I sell heroin, on a whorehouse on every other corner. Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is the 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and... Anybody else that had anything to do with this? What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to del deliver a message. You made your point, son. 
This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Twenty years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. In exchange, you run things as you see fit. Wanna sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is the 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. Ha <laughs> It's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over. Done. Finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal McConnell's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, now what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, South Marcano. You, this city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. It's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit one out. He's right. 
If it ain't gonna be me, it's gonna be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Hey, Amen. Hank. You remember what you told me when you came back from the war? How, how you wanted to, to, to go to California? Leave all this behind? And just start all over? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go! And don't look back. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a schedule to keep. Bit of advice, though? The scumbags you've been working with, kill them. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Padre. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, we're finished. You hear? Bob. A man's soul can only carry so much. And mine is on the verge of breaking. Al and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. 
wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. Yeah, because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Selma, Connor Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow. Buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. If he made a dollar, he was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I... I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. It'd be uh, kind of a piece in that.
Let me ask you something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I, be I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman. Cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Sit down and shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me. And hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered. Well... I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying that Sal Marcano and a group of conspirators murdered me. something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman. Cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Sit down and just shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me. And hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered. Well... I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying that Sal Marcano and a group of conspirators murdered Jack Kennedy. Oh, that is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. I assume you oh, say that. Don't fucking move! This... You're out of your mind. Oh, you... I don't hold anyone's ambitions against them, Senator. And you certainly were ambitious, weren't you? You went to law school, and then you became a district attorney, and then the United States Senate. After Sal Marcano died, I went through his files. Imagine my surprise when I saw your name over and over and over and over again! The mob wanted Jack Kennedy dead, and you were more than willing to help. 
There are cameras everywhere. There's witnesses. No, I want you them never to get see away with this, these stupid asshole. Because then they will know that I am not finishing with you. I am starting with you. Oh. 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 And they're next. <laughs> Gentlemen. Get on, you fucking...